hello guys so in this video we are going to talk about how we could debug our Python code within docker let's get started so we as you can already see I have my Visual Studio open here and I am in Python debugging folder which is empty so we're gonna start writing a really basic script which we could debug let's do this so here I'm going to create a function which is going to add two numbers make it simple and then let's call that function and store the variable and store it in a variable and let's print it now this is a pretty simple script we can say button 3 main we execute it we get it which is the expected answer now, if you really want to debug it using the Visual Studio code, inserting breakpoints and stepping over the code, what we could do is we need to install a debugging server. And there's a debugging server called DebugPy, which is produced by Microsoft. So we are going to use that. To actually install that, what I'm going to do is first of all, create a virtual environment so that I do not pollute my system environment. So let's create a virtual environment first. The end, my end. And as you can see, I have my virtual environment here. Now I'm going to activate this environment. So for that, I'm going to do source, my end, bin, and then activate. So now I'm within my environment, as you can see, we uh, indicated by my prompt what we could do is just install debug pi like that and we have it installed now the next part is actually to go to your sidebar visual studio sidebar click run and debug create a launch.json file it's gonna take some time I'm gonna create I'm going to click this uh, option, remote attach. I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to explain what this is in a minute. So to actually run our script using the uh, debug server, what we could do is say python3 m debug pi uh, listen. And then this is exactly the same. We can, we have to use the same port. So five, six, seven, eight, and then the name of the script. If you do that, of course nothing happens because we haven't started our client yet. Now, if you try to start, go to the top right of the Visual Studio code and try to click this green button, what you would see is this error because the client tried to connect to this port and this IP address, but there was no server. So what we need to do is add another flag to start the script wait for client if we do that now the code will not start executing until a client is connected now if we do that it's connected and the script is already finished great now now we can easily insert a breakpoint in the code so let's say I insert this breakpoint on line number four I try to execute again and then I click this button and here we are we hit this breakpoint we can watch it like five five which will return ten and we can step over and the value we can hover over this variable and see the value which is eight and that's pretty much it okay now to actually do that everything inside a docker let's create a docker file for the simple example i'm going to use 3.9 alpine which is a pretty small image i'm going to create a worker um, and um, app and i'm going to copy everything from host to docker and then i'm going to run pip install minus r requirement dot now this file we haven't created yet and we are going to do it now 
so for that we can just simply run python uh, pip freeze require and then just this redirection operator requirements.txt and there we have it and we have the dependent all the dependencies for our project in this case it's just debug.py now we can simply run the command for this simple example i'm just going to copy that and paste it here and i need to insert some dots and here we go okay so now we can build this image say let's assign it a tag my image and it's gonna take some time done so we can run it now but we need to expose the ports right so the port we are going to expose is this one and I just realized that we cannot use this localhost because localhost is to refer something internally within the docker we need to to be able to expose the ports and the network outside we need to use 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 so we are going to expose this port now here and it's going to be the same on the host and now when we say image and latest no it's not doing anything because it's waiting for us uh, I need to build that again because I forgot after changing the, the IP address now now if we do that it's actually waiting for the client to connect now we can just do play and here we go so our application is running within the docker and we are connected outside in the visual studio code how, how do we know here you can see that we have already this docker running which is the same container okay so that's how you do that it's pretty simple thanks for watching video until next time bye